guys what I want to cover today is showing you how we get the very best out of our training sessions with our young puppies they can't train for very long periods of time so the optimum training time for a young puppy is around five minutes now as your puppy grows you'll be able to build their stamina for training and they'll be able to train for maybe 10-15 minutes at a time now 20 minutes even with an adult dog is really your cutoff time after that learning tends to decrease so your optimum learning time is 20 minutes maximum now when we pick our location to train it's really important that we pick somewhere with no distractions because when we're teaching our dog something new good girl um this is going into their short-term memory now we only have around six or seven slots for our short-term memory so if we're trying to train somewhere really busy or there's a lot going on around us each of those things in your environment is going to be going into those short-term memory slots making it much harder for our puppies to learn something new now once our puppies have learned something and it's um, really well understood this is now in their long-term memory and we can start adding distractions so it's really important you start somewhere with no distractions and once your dog understands um, a behavior really well let's say in your living room when you then go into your kitchen or your garden dogs don't generalize very well so they don't really understand that it means the same thing so you may have to teach each cue in six different locations before your dog fully generalizes each exercise and understands it means the same thing everywhere good girl um, now i tend to train three or four times a day for just five minutes at a time and i tend to pick the times where she is most lively so when she's running around biting and barking and being annoying those are the times that we do some training sessions and i use as much of a daily food allowance as i can now in the first week she wasn't really working for her kibble that well so i was using some high value treats um, to build her interest and drive in training for food and once she had that love for training i could then start slowly introducing the kibble into her training sessions and now she'll pretty much work just for the kibble good girl um what else Uh, when we do the training sessions, I will do at least one training session each time that is just going through all the stuff that we've already started learning. So we'll mix and match a bit of everything in that five-minute period. And I'll spend maybe one session a day teaching something new, just one exercise, and just working with that. Um, and then when I'm not training, um, the rest of her food is used for enrichment purposes. So she'll get into a snuffle mat, or I'll spread some wet food onto a licky mat. Hang on. Good girl, where are you going? Um, or I'll set up an enrichment area for her. Now, most importantly, when she's at her hungriest, so first thing in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever she's really hungry, I'll do as much training with that food as I possibly can. And then when she's had enough of training, then it goes into the licky mats and kongs and things. So don't waste those opportunities by putting the food into a bowl or doing kongs and licky mats first thing in the morning. Use as many training opportunities as you can. Good girl. So what I'm going to do now is quickly show you what a five minute training session looks like. So running through the things that she already knows, I'm going to set her up first with the name game. Zombie, yes. Just to get her warmed up. Zombie, yes. Good girl. Get her chasing the food to help build some drive for her getting the food. Zombie, yes. Go get it. Good girl. And then running through some of the basic things that she knows. Auntie, yes. Good girl. Clock, yes. Good girl. Auntie, yes, good girl. Middle, yes, good. Good girl, okay, go get it. Good girl, ready, right, yes. Good girl, ready, left. Yes, good girl. So you can see we just mix it up a little bit um, amongst all the things that she's or already pretty good at understanding yes good girl yes good girl okay go get it good girl ready middle yes and i'll try and train um to just before she loses focus so i don't want her um, to train until she's bored out of her mind okay and i don't want to stay on the same thing too long either middle yes good girl and some of the things that she's getting good at like middle i'll start uh, phasing out the food luring as well so at the moment she'll she'll lure into middle with the food yes and once i've done a few repetitions of that i'll do it just on the hand follow so middle so no food in my hand yes mark yes and then reward good girl okay go get it 
zombie. So hand follow, middle, yes. And then what I want to start doing, once she's proficient at going into the middle position with following my hand with no food, I want to give a cue first. Go get, go on. Okay. Never mind. Middle. Nearly. Where are you going? Zombie. Ready? So I'll give the cue. Middle. Where are you going? I think she needs the toilet. Come on then. Ready? Oh, I know. Oh, it's so scary. If she wants some um, reassurance during the training session, that's okay. She can have a bit of reassurance. Middle. Yes. Good girl. And you may find that during your training session, your dog needs to check out a little bit. So if they do wander off, so she keeps trying to wander off, I'm going to let her do that. Because sometimes our dogs need a bit of a mental reset where they go off, they have a bit of a sniff, maybe they have a wee, a drink, make sure there's water available because keeping our puppies hydrated during training helps them to learn. So you may find that while you're training, that your dog may go off to drink more frequently than they normally would. So make sure you give them those opportunities to check out so they can just have that little bit of a reset and they're more likely to come back fresh. So with young puppies, they tend to do it more often. So maybe every couple of minutes they'll check out. And with your older dogs, maybe every five to 10, five to 10 minutes, but make sure you give them the opportunity to do so. Um, and then you should find the dog will come back fresh. Zombie, what are you doing? Let's see if she still wants the train. Good girl. Ready? Auntie. Yes. Good girl. Touch. Yes. Nice. Ready? Touch. Yes. Good girl. Touch. Yes. Good girl. Ready? Auntie. Where are you going? Yes. Good girl. Come on, get it. Nice. Ready? Yes. Go get it. Good girl. What a clever girl. So keep your sessions nice and short. Keep them fun. Try and end each session um, with a little bit of play as well. Playing at the end of your session, just even for 30 seconds, can help to our dogs to retain those training sessions better. So it helps them to solidify, solidify the learning that they've done in that session. And then after a training session, we'll go inside and I'll settle her down with some enrichment. Our dogs will get um, a high from training. They'll get a dopamine high. So when you go back inside, you may find that your dog's a little bit um, wired, buzzy. So to bring them down from that buzz, set them up with a licking mat or a snuffle mat, some enrichment just to bring them down from that or give them something to chew on and that will help them to settle after your training session. Now typically the best order to do things is to go for a short walk. So you would do a short walk with your dog, then you'd move on to some training and then move on to some enrichment and that will simultaneously help to um, bring your dog down from each high to then settle. If you go for a really long walk with your dog and then just come home and hoping your dog will settle and you're wondering why after walking your dog for three hours that they're still really buzzy, it's because they're buzzing after their walk and you've not actually brought them down. So with your puppies, it can just be a quick two or three minute stroll around your garden before they're vaccinated or a 10 minute walk up the park once they are vaccinated, followed by five to 10 minutes of training and then enrichment with your older dogs, do a 30 to 45 minute walk, 15 to 20 minutes of training, enrichment that will help to settle your dog down um, to actually rest. Now remember your puppies need around 18 hours of rest a day. So if you're finding your puppy is especially bitey or um, over the top with everything, chances are they need a rest. So make sure your puppy has plenty of opportunities to rest and enforce that rest if you need to by using crates or pens. Um, but doing your training and enrichment in that order should help them then to settle after your sessions. So good luck guys.